Let's start with the story. Rand Merchant Bank's latest Where to Invest in Africa report, a comprehensive analysis of the top investment destinations on the continent, ranks Seychelles and Mauritius, the two small island economies, as the top investment destinations in Africa. Furthermore, this is followed by the significantly larger economies, Egypt, South Africa and Morocco, coming in third, fourth and fifth place, respectively. Chief economist Azayim Thangam highlights the report's importance for investors, policymakers and business leaders navigating Africa's economy. Pleased to welcome you to the launch of the RMB Way to Invest in Africa 2024. Why Africa? The reasons have always been there and I think they are even more valid today than they've ever been. Let's take demographics for instance. If you look at the growth of China and now the growth of India, it's rooted in demographics. That offers an opportunity. We look at resources. Africa possesses some of the world's largest resources, which are going to be important in the decarbonization going forward. If you look in terms of land, we possess quite a significant portion of arable land that offers opportunity for growth in agriculture. And then we can also look in terms of the Africa Free Continental Trade Agreement. If you compare with other continents, Africa's trade remain way, way too low relative to what we see in other continents as they trade intracontinent. It's only 15%. Europe is at 46%. That's the, the lowest intracontinental trade in some of the regions, which means just merely doubling our intracontinental trade we're going to improve our economic growth prospects as a region. And then the, the increase in data availability, that enables us to present the opportunities at a much more granular level, something that we were not able to do before, as you'll see in, in a short while. And then diversity. In most cases, Africa has been labeled in a negative way, but in true reality, there are opportunities, there are risks. There is always an opportunity for an investor depending on what drives your underlying business. But there are also risks that you need to be up 